Shopify just announced some major new features and additions that are further integrating generative AI into your store and even your theme. Today, I'm going to show you how you can utilize the AI-powered theme block customizer that lives within the theme editor where you're already making UI changes. Now, I've done some testing and it's not great yet, but I think this is a good way to make a first attempt at a new widget or section that you want to see in your theme. I'm optimistic it will be very good at some point in the near future. Shopify debuted this feature with their new free theme called Horizon, where you can test it out yourself. Basically, you add a block in the theme editor and it gives you the option to ask AI to build it for you. I'm gonna show you the two ways you can get started with this feature in your store. First, by adding it to an empty section for bigger elements, and second, by adding it to your existing sections for smaller blocks. I'll be making more videos like this very quickly, so make sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment. I appreciate you watching and let's get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this horizon theme to my store. So you can do that down at the bottom here on online store themes. And it might be suggested to you here. If not, just go to the theme store and search it out and add it. And then uh, you should be able to have it here in your theme library. And we'll just take a look at this really quick to see it in action. So if I go to customize and then um, you'll see. So here's a good example of when I tested earlier. I asked it to, let's see. Uh, get an old school train station clock countdown for a sale and it looks terrible. So this is not like perfect, but it is, uh, I've been fairly impressed with it. It seems like the prompts that they suggest that you use work really well, of course, but um, maybe not so much when you prompt something brand new. So uh, to get this prompt section started, right, you can't do it from here. If it can't be from the section, it has to be a block. So what you can do is you can go to any section that has supports theme blocks and then click the plus and you'll see right here and you click on this and then you're able to just give it uh, a direction which it will then proceed to make. So uh, I wanna get this working though in my theme and not on the horizon theme, which I'm guessing a lot of you want as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, create a duplicate of my production theme here and then I'm just going to um, come in here to customize and we'll take a look at this first. So you'll see that um, if I try to add, whoops, that is a, trying to add a block to some of these and you'll see, okay, so these looks like they're mostly supporting um, section blocks here, right? So how do we get this generative AI block to be able to show up in our store? There's two ways that we can do this. Either we can have this block show up in an empty section that's just gonna display the block. So think of that for like a bigger section, like if I was creating a banner image or something like that. Or we can go into our sections, our existing sections, and we can add support for theme block. Note, they, that will only work if it's a theme block or an app block, but not if they are using section blocks. And I can show you what I mean more in detail. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do is if I click add section, you'll see these are all the sele selections here. Um, and I've tested these before, none of them actually support the theme blocks, and that's okay. I'm gonna go back to um, edit this code. So if I come here, I can click edit code. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize all of these, um, but I am going to create a new section. So this is going to be, I'm gonna call it custom section liquid. And after I save this, I'm going to remove all of this code. I'm gonna copy and paste in this code that there is a link in the description to my GitHub. Okay, so you'll see that this is just a div and it, this is where it actually displays our blocks here. And then the blocks were supporting theme and app um, and it's just called custom section. So this is very simple. It's literally just an empty container that's gonna show up, um, that's gonna have our theme blocks show up as we please. So if I come back to the theme editor now, I'm gonna refresh and I should be able to add a section, and I called it a uh, custom section down here at the bottom. You'll see it displays nothing, which is what is ex expected at this point. And now if I come here and add block, you'll see generate, boom, okay, cool. So let's do this magazine style um, section and see how it looks. And it looks like it just wrapped up and awesome. Okay, cool. So here is the design, um, that looks pretty good. I feel like, like I said, this is one of those prompts that they suggest you use, so I'm sure they got it working very well. But if, uh, if I just try something completely different, it is not quite as good sometimes, I've found. But that's okay. It's definitely better than nothing. So we can see, and it also gives us like a lot of really good customizations here, which is exactly what I want to see. 
So, okay, that is one way of doing it. Again, we created this custom section, which is just a container that's gonna house this block for us. The other way we can do this is that we can go into our existing sections and then we can um, add support for theme blocks. And I can show you how to do that, it's really easy. So let's pick um, one of these sections. I know what I'll do, I will, I will use the contact form. Okay, let's pretend like I wanted to add a contact form here. Um, and this could be any section that you already have. And you'll see if I add this form and then I come back and I try to add, there's no support for blocks right here. Like it won't let me, it just makes me add a section. But we can change that. So I'm gonna come back to the uh, code here and I'm gonna call, let's see, it's a uh, contact form right here, liquid, contact form liquid. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll all the way down here to the bottom and I'm gonna look and make sure that in this schema, there's no blocks um, set. So if there was, which I will show you in a minute, um, if we look at rich text, All right, I will scroll down to the bottom here and I looked at this one previously, so I'll hide the settings. Okay, right here. See how it says has these blocks and it has um, this list of section blocks? These are called section blocks and we can't unfortunately support theme blocks with those. But if you come to one, one of the sections and it doesn't have any blocks listed or it has blocks but it only has, say, type at theme or type uh, app like that, that's fine. You can add it just like this. And so now this is supporting app and theme blocks, or it should be. Um, and it also just work if you only do the theme. So this is, this is the code we need to add to the schema underneath the settings and just like this. So if we save that now, one thing I did forget to mention um, is we need to add it's just like if we look at this custom section, it has this. This is where the actual blocks are output into the um, HTML. So we need to make sure we add that as well. So I'm just going to come down here at the bottom. I'm going to paste this content for blocks in our liquid tags. If I save that, now we should be in good shape. And if I come back, I'm going to refresh my theme editor. Okay, and I'm going to add that section again. So it's contact, uh, contact form. And remember previously, we were not able to add any blocks to it at all but hopefully now, okay, cool. So we can see it says add block and boom, right there. So say we wanted to add um, add a countdown to the top of the form. We'll see how it does. Okay, so our AI generated section is complete and we can see it right here. So this looks pretty good actually. Um, it has a lot of customizable section uh, settings right here, which is what I would like to see. And I wanted it at the top, but it could be the placement of my HTML, but I'm just curious if there is a way to move this at all. Mm, I don't think so, but if I click in, yeah, so it doesn't have the option for me to move it to the top, um, but that's okay. I could also, I could just literally move this to the top and I think that would work. And I think that would work just fine. So I'm overall pretty happy with this. This is a more simple widget, but you can see how it can be really effective. But I hope this has been helpful and that you've enjoyed um, learning how to use this new feature from Shopify. I will be posting more videos from Shopify Editions updates and uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you next time.